oh god all the deadlines are clashing and i'm even supposed to think for the physics exhibition yet i'm scrolling through youtube mm, what's that this is funny oh we can use this for our exhibition the science behind a slap A slap is the purest form of love from one sibling to the other. Well, all of us have been at the either sides of a slap at one point in our life. But how can we define a slap properly? A sharp blow or a smack with an open hand or something flat is defined as a slap. We decided to conduct an experiment. We filmed Ruthik getting slapped in the face at 4K 60 frame per second and tracked the movement of this slap using tracker. And guess what? We found something really interesting. Here, we got the average velocity of the hand to be minus 0.55 meter per second, and average acceleration to be minus 0.33 meter per second square. The negative value attributed to the motion in negative x direction. With f is equal to m a, force turned out to be 0.165 newton, considering the average mass of the hand to be 0.5 kg. The momentum of the hand comes out to be 0.275 kg meter per second. Calculating impulse, it comes out to be 0.097 joule second. And remember, friends, this is not a perfectly elastic collision. The impulse applied when getting slapped can be quite massive. Impulses delivered through a slap could be as large as 25,000 joule seconds, assuming a force of 50,000 newtons. Yes, boxers can punch that hard in a time span of just 0.5 seconds. What is the actual physics behind being slapped in the face? This brings to our notice Newton's third law of motion, which states that for every motion there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, when the hand slaps the face, the face slaps the hand back. The average mass of a male hand is 500 grams and not 2.5 kg. Sorry 90s kids, but it's the truth. The formula for force in newtons is mass into acceleration, where mass is in kg and acceleration is in meter per second square. What? Wait. Even with all these reactions, What's up with the person and his face? Why does he look like a water balloon? Now one might say that he's chubby. He is, but that's not the only reason. A lot of potential energy that is stored in the muscles, which gets transferred into kinetic energy as the person swings his arms towards Ruthik's face. As the hand approaches the face, even more potential energy is converted into kinetic energy, but there's no loss of any energy. The kinetic energy of the hand's motion gets partially absorbed by the face tissue as well as the person's hand itself, and the remaining absorbed energy gets converted into heat, which gets dissipated by both conduction and convection. Well, now that you've known about the aftermath of a slap, let's get to a fun fact. Ever wondered how you can beneficially use a slap? What if I tell you? that you can cook a chicken just by slapping it no i ain't joking it's a fact a chicken starts to get thawed at 6 degrees celsius assuming perfect energy transfer converting to thermal energy without even any sound produced during the slap how hard would a slap would have to be for a chicken to get cooked now let's consider the energy of a slap Taking m and v as the mass and velocity of the hand, the kinetic energy is half m v square. Taking the average energy of a one kg chicken to be six nine three point six kilojoules, the velocity turns out to be one six six five point six five meter per second. Well, that's huge. Considering imperfect energy transfers, the velocity will be much greater to convert the same amount of energy to the chicken supper. Sounds more like a master chef, right? So as you all just saw, you could actually explain the physics behind the slab with just a bit of thermodynamics and a bit of mechanics. Thank you.